Coming up on the Drexel interview, artists Myra and Alex Coleman discuss their family legacy and the exhibition Sarah Berman's Closet. Sarah was an incredibly important part of our lives and something that was very close to us. She reminded me that you don't need to follow all the rules and try to fit in and try to look like everything else, but that you can really let your own lyricism sing through every element of what you create. So it's wonderful to have two artists who are mother and son, which is quite unusual. And we know which is which. You know which is which, and I hope our, our I think our uh, viewers, right. our audience will know. Um, paying tribute to a mother and grandmother. Just as much as it's about Sarah Berman, it's actually very much about a more universal story and about how someone is able to intentionally spend their time to create their life and to create order and find beauty and meaning in their life. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking at it through a more universal lens. And I think allowing something that is so intimate and small to speak so universally to the public uh, is a really powerful form of curation. I think that is so true about this exhibit. Now, I wonder if you could talk, Myra, about the move of the closet from the museum of your son to the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. To be in the Met, the most august of institutions in New York City, if not the world, uh, in the American wing, is just, it boggles the mind. And I just wonder about your experience of that. Well, it was, we were astounded and flabbergasted and completely delighted curators uh, from the museum who put it in the American wing as a counterpoint to the most, uh, the most elaborate and expensive closet of, an, of a woman in America in 1882, mm -hmm. the richest woman in the United States, Arabella Warsham. And here in 1982 is a humble, tiny closet of no import of a woman who wasn't famous. So, you know, the, the conversation is, what's important, who's important, whose story do you tell, and, and what are the objects of our lives that, that really have resonance and tell that story. What a wonderful so. point, counterpoint, to be here now in Philadelphia in the museum, the National Museum of American Jewish History, strikes me as another turn in this cycle. And I wonder if you could place Sarah within the uh, thrust of this museum. Sarah's story parallels the story of Jewish history on many levels and immigration. When we came here, the, the, the attitude of my parents, and especially my father, who was an, an ardent Zionist and who, who had been in, the, you know, in Etzel fighting the British uh, in, for the independence of Israel, was that we're only here temporarily. They did, in fact, move back when my sister and I were in college, and we had already become Americanized to the point that we said, we really need to stay here. And then she came back again. Their marriage was a difficult one. And at the, at the age of 60, she felt that she could no longer stay with him. So she left, came back to New York, where my sister and I uh, were living and with our families. And she lived in the West Village in the, this is the closet in New York City right. that is memorialized here outside this museum now. It was really like kind of into a monk cell in a way and moved into a studio apartment in the West Village where you're obliged to edit and that sense of editing in life, that sense of what do I really need, becomes a much bigger question and really is the question I think that Alex is addressing and that I'm, I'm addressing. What are the things that really matter? What people matter? What actions of the day matter? You know, how am I making the most of my time? Mm -hmm. And that was something that we saw her do brilliantly. You saw it actually unfolding in, yeah. in front of you. So the f fact that you're collaborators, but you're also mother and son, is a very unusual combination. Did you ever uh, feel that uh, you were encroaching on each other, or was there any, was there a, were there growing pains in this collaboration? No, it was or all was it idyllic, just... all the... Oh, see, that's but the it... mother's view. <laughs> but no, but no, I'm, I'm yeah. actually joking, but what I, what I, what I want to <laughs> say is that we intersect and collaborate on different projects because we know we want to as opposed to we have to. So there's something very natural about it. One thing leads to another. Now we're discussing an opera, Sarah Ber the opera Sarah Berman's Closet. And that conversation came out of installing here. What a fascinating idea for an opera. Thank you both for this wonderful interview, Alex and Myra Coleman. I look much. forward to Sarah Berman's Closet, the opera. The opera. We'll be yeah. singing, perhaps. Yes. Um, and I want to thank you for joining us today at the Drexel interview. Mm -hmm.